Jeff Wilson here at the Pole of Inaccessibility. It's inaccessible. It's taken me 23 brutal days of hard work to get here. I'm so proud to be the first Australian in our 200 year polar history to get here. I would not have got here without Pivotel and Iridium support. So thank you so much guys. I'm gonna run you through how I'm using your gear. It has had the most brutal time and performed amazingly. So this video will come to you through your own tech. Can't say uh, how much I appreciate your support. You've been fantastic. Hey, like I said outside, huge thank you to Pivotel and Iridium for providing the incredible tech that's getting the story out. The first Australian to the pole of inac inaccessibility wouldn't even be known without this gear. So I'll run you through how I'm using it. Firstly, obviously charging off solar panels, which are on the back of the tent. Um, you can just see here, the solar panels recharging. It's coming through a little vent there and the panels are on the, the sunny side of the tent. Quite amazing how much power that is getting from the sun. Um, and then obviously I've got a full battery bank switched to 12 volt that's coming through into the main unit. Um, doesn't take long to get signal. The only time we've ever had an issue was with the 12 volt. Gene picked that up and uh, it was a 12 volt issue. One of the batteries died. Luckily I've got triples of everything. Um, then the antenna cable to the main uh, dish outside. The distance obviously is not as great as we'd like, uh, but I figure I'm low and most of the <laughs> radiation's going up into the sky, but it has had the most brutal pounding in those sleds. The, the last 1,700 kilometres has been bash, bash, bash. So the fact that it survived that, it is tough stuff. You guys have done a great job. Thank you for your support.